Now, let's create some model classes. It means our logical uh, stuff. It has nothing to do with the, the UI, right? It's the, it belongs to the game itself. For example, we need a game engine. We can name it the board or snake board. And uh, we might need something to represent a cell of the snake. So that's defined. Let's create the, the snake cell, okay? So new class, snake cell. So what properties do we need for that? Simple. Its location is enough. So colon and the row, okay? Let's run it so we can it's easier for us to talk about that. So for example, our snake will be like here, 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 right? Something like that. So we need like a bunch of snake cells. We'll use an array of snake cell to represent a whole snake on the board. But for this one, we can use um, int colon and int row. I think that's it. It's good enough. Now let's create another one to represent our game engine, game logic, right? So snake, uh, snake board, okay. So we'll use, uh, wait a minute, before we create the real thing, let's try to print out an uh, empty board, okay, here on the console using dot, 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 each dot, right, represent a, a square here. So it means we'll print out an one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven by five. Uh, dots. So we can override the two string method. Okay. So let's delete that and define a board string. Okay. So string board string equals empty one. Then we can return this guy, right? So let's put one dot there. So B R D string. Uh, yeah, we can use plus equal to space and the dot. Let's test this one. So somehow, oh, okay. Um, let's create our, our unit test here. So we'll start uh, to use unit J unit. How to do that? Um, let's highlight this one. Right click, new. Mm, maybe here. New J unit test case. J unit test case. Package, yeah. Name. So we'll use uh, snake board. B O B O A R D. Snake board tests. Can we do that? Package. Use J unit Jupiter test. Okay. Class under test. Um, source folder. Let's use a different one. Source snake SRC source. Finish. Actually, okay. Yeah. So now we put it here. 
Um, this might not be a good practice. So but that um let's leave it here for now. It might be easier for us to understand, yeah. Uh for a beginner, right? So this file is the test file for the uh, the other one. So Yeah, so let's run it. Let's run this test. So here, this one, this, this icon, let's try this one. Yeah, so this icon is your yeah, run snake bot test, right? So it failed. And we can see a red bar here. Um, this is by default. So this way we don't need to run the whole app, right? So we can, let's stop that one. Um, well, it's this guy. Stop it. Let's run it. Oh, now it's the snake. Okay, let's run the snake and uh, stop it. Okay, sure. Um, let's create a snake board and a printout. Snake board. Board equals new snake board. And uh, let's as well as print this BRD. So whatever uh, returned in. Wow, everything is red here. So whatever we return here will be print out, output in the console. So now let's delete this one and test it again. Launch, yeah, uh, run it. Wow, even here it shows, it shows green. Cool. So where is our, oh, here's the dot, okay. So let's make it a little bit bigger so we can put both of the, the file and the test file and the file to be tested side by side. Oh, oh, no. I want to put this guy to the right, yeah like that. So now <clears throat> we need uh, how many dots? We need uh, seven dots in a row. So let's create a for loop. Mm -hmm. Let's define the constant. Wait a minute. Do we have the, do we have the constant defined here? Oh yeah, it's here. I think this belongs to the model. So let's cut this guy and put it in our model uh, class. So now we break, right? We break the code here. So we needed to put snake board dot for this guy here. And uh, let's copy the dot, include the dot. So what's this? Yeah. Do we have anything else? Oh, yeah. So fix that and uh, fix that. Okay, so here we can use dot column, right? The 
does it work? Columns. Yeah, so we need seven of them. Let's give it a try. So what um yeah, you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Now we oh okay. I think it's a good idea to use column for this for this name, right? C O L C O L this is a good name because C O L now let's add another for loop, okay? So this one will use row. Yeah. And uh, snakeboard dot dot rows. Now we'll move in the whole thing here, right? Can we get what we need? Like five rows of nine, uh, five rows of seven dots each. Let's see. No, we didn't put the line break after each row. Let's fix this. So, um, board string, right? Let's include the line break. Let's make, take a look. Note, okay, wait a minute. Oh yeah, it works. So that's it. See you next time.